the global challenges we face, our species will have to evolve into super cooperators. Game theory provides insights into the dynamics of human behavior and with this dance science collaboration in Dilemma, we are exploring what kind of balance between conflict and cooperation may help us get there. I'm an old scientist and have nothing at all to do with dancing, actually. But when I got the opportunity of joining this project, I grabbed it because I thought that from time to time everybody should make something crazy. But at the end of it, I found that it wasn't crazy at all. It made a lot of sense. It is so inspiring to be in this free flow of ideas, of creativity. We all learn from each other, we create something better, we improve on each other's ideas. We're thrilled to be part of this project and show the world the possibilities how dance can have a greater impact on society. You will see here a premiere of a collaboration which I think is unprecedented. A collaboration where world leading scientists in game theories like Carl Sigmund and uh, Piotr Magnuszewski will be on stage together with world-leading dancers thinking about both arts and sustainability. Four anonymous players sit in a game lab. In the nature of men, we find three principal causes of quarrel. First, competition. Second, diffidence. Third, glory. The first makes men invade for gain. The second, for safety. The third, for reputation. There is always war of everyone against everyone. The life of man, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. There is conflict whenever there is life. Conflict in every society, every family, every soul. If there were no conflicts of interest, we would need no morals. We could do without law. Without contracts and allies, all rules and regulations serve merely to tame conflicts of interest. Mathematicians were late in addressing this topic. They turned first to space and numbers, to symmetries and probabilities. But now we have mathematics of conflicts of interest. It is called Game Theory. Game Theory. Even though it deals with the most serious matters on Earth. Just as probability theory grew from games of chance and is used today to describe the physical world, Game Theory took over terms from poker and chess. Terms such as strategy, player, move and payoff to describe social interactions. Huge amounts of matter, energy and information circulate around the globe in a fast-moving flow propelled by human interactions. These interactions are part of human behaviors which are based on human preferences which happen not to be aligned. Alas! Or, thank God! And that's what game theory is all about. It deals with sharing and commitment, with trust and threat, and risk and reputation, with partnership and rivalry, to avoid the war of everyone against everyone. Four anonymous players sit in their cubicles in a game lab. If player A does not contribute, 
and B, C and D do. Then the common pool consists of 60 euros. Each of the three players 10 euros being doubled by the experiment. And A receives 15 euros from it. This is a greater gain than 10 euros. However, while A is doing better, the others are doing worse. This is a social trap. It works like a mouse trap. The cheese is your self-interest. The spring is other people's self-interest. Three riders race each other. And the finishing line of that stampede of self-interest is economic standstill. In real life, as opposed to the game, free riders are punished if they are caught. Punishment is costly, nevertheless it works. Some people anticipate the punishment and strike first. Our harmless public good game quickly turns into a war of everyone against everyone. We need a social contract. All his life, man is imprisoned by his institutions. Man is born free, and everywhere he is in chains. He runs to meet his chains, thinking they secure his freedom. Ethics, our only hope to beat social dilemmas, tragedies of the commons, and the war of everyone against everyone. It is time to come back to our dramatic situation. Our world is almost destroyed. Can you restore it, or will it collapse? You stay in your roles and you can still express that you need more life space by standing up or you can express that you have enough by sitting down. But this time we had another possibility. You can also give, share to your neighbors. You express it by standing up and raising your hand like this. Now. You have three choices, and let's continue our journey into the future.